Hi, Member of Parliament Mark Werwa with another MP Minute. And do I ever have an interesting person right here in Langley, uh, Canada's leader on uh, Canadian military history uh, because of his collection in uniforms, vehicles, and equipment, uh, Major Ian Newby. And uh, proud to meet with you here, sir. And uh, you are the number one provider with uh, uniforms uh, f to uh, film, is that right? Absolutely. We've uh, been working very hard to preserve Canadian history and military history in particular since this com company was founded in 1987. And uh, as you can see, we've sort of outgrown this facility. This is absolutely cr incredible. There's uh, there's uh, military vehicles just outside of this building, but this building is uh, busting uh, with uniforms. And you pr you're the one of the number one providers with uh, uniforms for the movie theater. That's right. Uh, anytime you go on History Channel, anytime around uh, the November 11th period, uh, all of those special productions, um, all those uniforms came from here. This Sunday night on History Channel, there'll be uh, the story about the Canadian raid on Dieppe. Uh, this is the premiere this Sunday night, so it uh, should be interesting. And all the uniforms came from here. And you proudly served uh, in Canadian military, correct? That's right. I uh, tacked two years on my age, and actually they signed me up when I was 14 and a half, and uh, I retired in 1987 after 28 years. And uh, also I heard that uh, you are the one that trained uh, the first Rambo, uh, Sylvester Stallone, when they shot uh, Rambo, the first Rambo in, in Hope. Uh, you actually taught him how to be a soldier. That's right. Um, working with uh, David Caruso, Richard Crenna, and Brian Dennehy, um, was quite an interesting experience and teaching Mr. Stallone how not to take his finger off when he fired his M60 machine gun and how to speak, talk and act like a soldier was a very interesting challenge. So w what are some of the challenges uh, that uh, we, we have uh, in Canada in protecting our military history? Well basically, um, uh, and I'm not sure you'll be pleased I say this, but it's lack of government support and will. Um, there is far more destroyed than we are able to save, and it's uh, because we don't receive any type of, uh, of official support. This is all done by personal initiative. Uh, w the collection that you have here, it's, it's all, you've purchased this, is that correct? That's correct. Nobody has given us anything except the Americans, and uh, that's hands across the border. <laughs> Well, we're going to be taking a, a, a follow-up uh, to this video, uh, a tour of uh, Major Newby's uh, collection here outside, seeing some of his equipment. Uh, so click on to the next video and, and watch it. Incredibly interesting, uh, Major Newby, and uh, I'm glad you're in Langley. Uh, you're a leader in Canada here, but also in the world. There are how many other uh, people like yourself, historians, but also collectors, um, have this type of uh, inventory? Uh, well, basically none. We, we are it. There are other companies that supply uniforms, um, some that have been in business for literally hundreds of years in the United Kingdom and in the United States, but we are the only ones who specialize only in uniforms and related equipment. So Major Newby, uh, for people to, to see you, uh, meet you, see some of your equipment every year at the Aldergrove Fair, they'll see you there? Absolutely. We had uh, 18 vehicles there this year and uh, we encourage uh, children, whether they're 4 or 40, to climb all over them and uh, appreciate them. We don't put fences around them. Very interesting. So we're going to uh, sign off right now and, and go to the next video and see some of this incredible equipment outside. Thank you, Major Newby. My pleasure entirely.